The millennial aesthetic now comes from your vacuum cleaner, but it's not just a vacuum cleaner. No, this vacuum cleaner pictured here, it is a meditation on spiritual wellness and everything like that. I tell you what, I, I, can't, I can't even lie and try to sell it because they, they do such a nice job in their brochure. This article for the New Yorker goes at the Air Sign Company that doesn't say you're vacuuming. It says it is giving you spiritual wellness and cleaning and permeating everything of your life is by sucking up dust on the ground. Yeah, yeah, this is how you sell stuff now in 2022. You understand that people are empty, you understand that people are needy, and you understand people want to look good, and yet people don't want to vacuum because we're kind of dirty that way. So, but if you can make a spiritual cleansing to be as poignant as going underneath the couch, well then you're going to sell vacuum cleaners. Now, AirSign has sold a lot of vacuum cleaners, but even the article in the New Yorker admits that vacuuming is still vacuuming. They don't feel any spiritual cleansing or poignant expressionism in this. It's, it's still dirt that needs to be cleaned up and tomorrow there's going to be more. And even if you buy all their products and even if you sign on for the monthly subscription, there's still dirt in your life that needs to be cleaned. The vacuum cleaner doesn't work itself. You still need to do it. Psalm 18. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I called to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. We live in such a self-absorbed world that we think vacuuming is going to be spiritual meditation. Baloney! The, the, the real matter is you got more dirt and dust in your life than something under the couch. You got more garbage that needs to be picked up than just what's behind the sink. The, the truth is, there is a lot of problems in our life. And yet in Psalm 18, we've got somebody greater than a vacuum cleaner to go to. Someone who hears our cries, our pleas, our wants in his ears. God's ear is towards you. God's ear wants your prayers and wants your time and wants you. Instead of trying to make your own little spiritually crafted aesthetic that just is glamorous and wonderful. Hey, try something else. Try something that actually works that doesn't require a subscription free, that does free, that actually comes free and doesn't make you buy another product every six months. In my distress, I called to the Lord and he heard my voice.